guys, welcome again to our Peach Tree Morning Show. And today it's Friday the 13th. Spooky, spooky. <laughs> Scary stuff. Yeah, it's bad luck day in, in America. Yeah, well, that's, that's considered bad luck in the United States. I'm not sure if that's around the world. But we are going to plant seeds for a very good Friday the 13th. It could be good luck day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Depends on your seeds. So today we have a very, very good question. From June, from Singapore. So let's see what her question is. Here we go, June. Hi, teachers. My name is June. I'm from Singapore. I'm new to the seed planting system, but I'm guiding my son uh, to uh, for the four steps. He wants good grades in the coming O level exams. May I know how do I guide him to plant uh, good results in the coming exam and how to plant those seats. Thank you. Wow, June, you look like you're standing on top of a skyscraper there. I could hear the wind blowing. Cool. She I, wants her son to get good grades, right? Yes, I think we get this question a lot. A lot, right? especially yeah, and, in Asia. Yeah. And um, I, I, I think it's a great question. Uh, I was, uh, you know, I was thinking about the, usually we tell people, we, this time we want to go even deeper with this answer, uh, but usually we tell people that it's not possible for us to plant seeds for other people. Uh, and I always say, if it was possible, believe me, my mom would fix my life a <laughs> long time ago. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. What, your, your life needs fixing? I don't understand. <laughs> What's the deal? Yeah. Well, you know, she, I w she would save me all the problems that I had when Before I was a Before you met me, yeah. right? Before yeah. I met you, yeah, you. Yeah, I don't want to get in trouble. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> um, so, in one hand, we say, right, that it's not possible to plant seed for somebody else. Each one of us is responsible for our own seeds. The, uh, but yeah, on the yeah. other hand, we say everything we experience, including other people, come from our seeds. So, there seems to be like a contradiction. I cannot plant a seed for Scott to get a hundred in the test, okay? And he cannot do it for me, and we cannot exchange seeds between us. But there's a deeper story. But he comes from me, you know? He comes from my seeds, the way he acts. So, Geshe Michael, how uh, can we resolve this issue? Yeah, bring it from the master. Well, I think we should all decide, but I, I, will, I will say one thing. Uh, we have to talk about this question of whether you can give a seed to another person, and is there some level on which your son's success is coming from you, and you can give your, your, your son a seed. But I want to give a short, uh, direct answer. Uh, and people ask me this question all the time, and I can remember two friends, uh, Huang Jin from Shanghai, and Jeffrey Tso from Taipei, and these guys, they both have the same question in the last <laughs> 10 years. And I, I have to say, I, I think it's Huang Jin's daughter is going to Oxford now. So she was accepted uh, to Oxford University, which even I wasn't accepted. So he Oxford. asked you this question, how yeah. can my uh, kid can have good grades? And, yeah. you, and, and then you give them the answer, yeah. the kid did it. Yeah, so the short answer is... Uh, Dr. Keshe Michael. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, <laughs> the, the, the child... The, the child, your child has to plant the seed. You cannot plant okay. the seed for the child. Okay, so you got to okay, coach him. Yeah. And everybody else has have this question. You, we cannot plant a seed for our kids. They have to plant the seeds for themselves. Yeah, and, it's, and obviously, you know, that's the short answer. That's the easy answer. Well, what's uh, it? The, 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 the ch your child has to be encouraged by his very intelligent mother to learn the seed system, learn the four steps, once your child learns the four steps, they will, of course, automatically understand what they have to do. And I'm not going to tell you. Okay? I'm not going to tell you. You figure it out. Okay? If your child has to plant seeds to be successful in their college entrance exam, then what are you going to tell them? And what are you going to teach them? So June, the answer is, you don't get an answer. And what? you have to think what? about you have to think about the four Can steps. I tell her the answer? No. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, no, 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 June, no, no. Just no. hang on, June. We'll figure <laughs> no, something no, no. out. <laughs> June cannot get the answer. June has to think uh, if you're gonna teach your child how to do well on the exam, then what does your child have to do? What four things 
does your child have to do for another young person to do well in their exams? Okay, so that's the end of the question. Okay, we cannot say anything. Um, Sorry. But uh, Orit's question is deeper. And I think sometimes when you go deeper, you get a better answer to the surface question. Mm -hmm. So the question is, can I plant a seed for another person? You know, can I do something to help my child do well on their exam? Can I do anything with seeds to help my child do well on their exams? Because the child is coming for me. Because the child is coming for me. So Scott, your turn. Okay, so we use some nice sets of four uh, uh, parts, so some we tools that have four parts each. We call the four by four. To understand, you know, basically how seeds work, how to plant a seed, uh, how to stop uh, negative seeds from causing a problem. And by the way, we just finished a great video series called DCI Threads. Well, we're in the process of creating that, yeah. And, you know, if you really want to go deeper into these 4x4, four four, you, should, you should see that. Okay, go ahead. Uh, and then the last one, I, I said uh, four steps, four uh, powers, four. And then the one, one I hadn't gotten to is another thing to help us understand, another tool to help us understand uh, what's going on around us, help to understand if I plant a seed, where to look for it to bring its result. One of them is that I see uh, the people around me that way. And so uh, you, your question was, how can I plant a seed to see my son do that? Be well, I, to be I, first successful. of all, you, you take responsibility for the problems. I, I take responsibility for the problems around me uh, as my seeds. I identify, I like to tell people in front of the stage at DCI events, I identify simply what I'm experiencing. So if I'm seeing a person who is not having the success at the level they want yet, then uh, it, I must be causing that by, and this is a tricky one, by uh, not allowing some people to have the success they want. It sounds like a conventional relationship, but I'm saying it's a, it's a, an, a deeper understanding. If I see some friend of mine, or especially a loved one like my son, not achieving the success they want, and that hurts me, I can only experience that if it's a result of my seeds. And so I got to go looking for where I'm preventing other people, maybe that I judge or don't like as much, from uh, getting their success, maybe by competing with them or something like or that. Or on a very tiny, tiny seed level, have I been competitive right. with other parents Ooh. about their kids being successful? You wow. know, like, do I get jealous uh, when other parents' kids are successful on their exams? Because jealousy, at a deep level, is hoping that their kids don't do well on their exams. Wow. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? So I, I want to ask a question. Is it possible that if, that if my motivation for my kid to be successful is kind of dirty motivation? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I hope the other kids fail. Then my kid will raise their time. In order for me to succeed, yeah. you have to fail. Uh, yeah? no? Or I just, I want, the kids represent me and I want my kids to have a good grade because it reflects how, how well I am. Or how I, intelligent their dad is. Yes, yeah. that how good I am as a parent. And I would say, so my motivation I'm, is, is a little bit dirty. Wow. I, I, of course I care about my kid and I want him to be successful, but in the same time I have this selfish motivation because I want to look good. I, I'm not sure, but it, could it be yeah. that this is the scene? Well, then I think uh, the opposite scene would be to really celebrate or be very happy if some other parents' children did well in the exam. So maybe you have to kind of get ready mentally to say, okay, when I hear that my friend's kids did better than my kid, in the exam, I'm going to do the best I can to encourage them and congratulate them and celebrate them and tell them how happy I am. And I'm going to do the best I can to be happy. I think it kind of comes down to leadership, too. To, like, if you think about it, uh, great leaders maybe don't have that kind of zero-sum mentality where they think that in order for me to succeed, you have to fail. Or I, if, I'm, uh, if I'm losing, it must be because you're winning. So I think real leadership... Real like wisdom, some people would say, is like 
understanding that everybody can succeed at the same time. So I want to go back to the what seems to be a contradiction. Oh, good, yeah. Okay, yeah. I want to go back because I, w- I want to understand it better. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I cannot plant a seed for somebody else, but at the same time, everybody else, including the kid, is my kid coming for my own seed. Mm-hmm. So it, it seems logically, if they come for my own seeds, if I change my seeds, I can change their seeds. But you're telling me it's not correct. I cannot plant their seeds. I cannot change it. Uh, so, uh, Geshe Michael, can uh, you explain uh, this for me? I'll There's... ask you a question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is it possible that I plant seeds to see my child as doing well in the exams, but my child doesn't plant seeds and they don't see themselves doing well in the exams? Is it possible for me to plant the seeds to see my kid do well in the exams and in the same day my kids don't plant seeds and they don't see themselves ex- be successful in the exams? Is it possible to have two worlds going on in one space? There's a reason why he's got the pen in his mouth. <laughs> yes. Okay, so it's, it is possible for one situation or one condition to be experienced differently. Like as So radically? So radically. As a number? As a failure. As a number? A, as a number, yes. Wow. It's possible. Uh, if, if things are empty, if it's yeah. true that things are empty, then it is possible. Well, uh, then I should focus on helping my kid do the four steps rather than focus on me trying to do the four steps before them. Do all the above. Or maybe do all. both is cool, right? Maybe both is cool, right? That's cool. Maybe both is cool. Yeah, that's GCI. That's lifestyle. So what the suggestion we have for June is to help your kid plant the seed by doing the four step by themselves. They have to do that. Yeah. And at the same time, Good. you plant the seed to see your kid successful. You know, and uh, and it's double sugar, double it's sugar, double sweet. You know, you, and, and, you know, I think you got to be clever too. I think you've got to sometimes, you know, make it fun for the kid, for the son, for my son to help some other kid. Like I don't know, it, they like in America they have this author Tom Sawyer who. Uh, who uh, wrote a, a book about, uh, I mean, the, Tom Sawyer was a character that tricked his friends into thinking painting a fence was really fun. So I think sometimes maybe you got to make it really attractive somehow for the kid to help some other kid. Right. Maybe even give them a reward for doing it, just so they get into the habit of doing it. Right? I, I think by example, if I show right. the kid how fun it is to help somebody else to be successful, then it's kind of infectious for the kids because kids learn by copying. You know, this, this is how they learn how to speak. This is how they learn the, uh, how to walk. They, they learn by copying. One of the deepest memories I have of my mom was a special tennis match that we joined. And it's called Mother Son. And the mother and the son play together. Cool. Doubles team against oh the God. other team. Mother oh, and super son. cool. And, uh, and I, it's one of the things I will always remember about my mom. It's the day we played tennis. To, oh, it was a whole weekend of co- competition. No way. And we played on the same side. And wow. we played against another mother. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> rather than thinking about the mom plants the seeds or the son plants the seeds, maybe some way you can team up do it together. To plant the seeds together. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Assuming the mother's not like wildly competitive, like, Michael, get yeah. out there and kill him. You know, <laughs> she's actually, it sounds like your mom was pretty well adjusted. Well, Even in the I'm not going to talk about stuff. the match. Uh, <laughs> oh, we, so we got killed, but um, we really lost. But, um, but I want to say um, it might be incredibly sweet to work together to help another child on their exams. That's kind of cool. Wow. Okay, so yeah. team up. You know, you can, you, the son can plant the seed, you can plant the seed separately, but much more powerful if you team up and you do it together, Yeah. right? Yeah. Help another kid yeah. that, uh, you know, in, when I was a kid, I remember we had this um, uh, program uh, in grade school uh, that uh, where I lived, there was a lot of immigrants. 
Uh, and so a lot of kids that are having a hard time with the language and they needed some assistance and the parents couldn't assist them because mm -hmm. they themselves they're, didn't they're, know the language. Wow. So they had this thing that they, they will find out, uh, they, the program will encourage us, the kids that were a little bit more grown up, like 10 and 12 years old, 11, to find another kid that was from first grade mm. and go there twice a week to their home, mm -hmm. sit with them and actually help them, teach to, do, them to, read. to teach them to read and do their mm -hmm. homework. And uh, uh, it was a very powerful program. And mm -hmm. a lot of us, I, I remember me, me myself doing it and how much it helped you to build also on a conventional level for the kids who have to build a self-esteem. So I was 10 years old and I had this kid that he was in second grade. Yeah, he's <laughs> seven years old and yeah. he needs me. And, and I need me and I'm teaching them. And, That's uh, so cool. Yeah, it was very cool. Very cool program. So it was in my school. Wow. Um, That's a cool thing. So that's our suggestion, right? Yeah, this is our suggestion. And that was coming from your seeds. Oh. oh. Okay, who's the, what's the question for <laughs> today? All right, guys, we just heard the 15-minute bell. And listen, great question from June in Singapore. And those questions are like this right here. Uh, you send them to seedquestions at diamondcutterinstitute.com. This is our very special, uh, extremely expensive prop in the uh, Peachtree Morning Show, a paper plate. With the seed low questions, tech. Let's, it's low tech. I'm <laughs> gonna get let me tell you something. Think of it this way, June. If if my friend Huang Jin had not asked me, if he had not asked the question, I don't believe his daughter would have gone to Oxford. Yeah. So ask the question, guys. Yeah, ask questions. So we yeah. we're we're waiting for your questions and, and and do it. You know, this this system doesn't work by listening. <laughs> it's only work if you do it. Yeah, it's really true. <laughs> Not just by watching the morning show, you actually got to go out and do something. So okay. send your questions to seedquestions at diamondcutterinstitute.com. Uh, 30 second vertical selfie video questions in any language. And we're, we're going to answer them here on the show. Who do we have up next okay, week? Okay, next It's Friday week. the 13th, guys. Okay, guys, listen to this cool question. This is Roger from Germany near Heidelberg, uh -oh. and I have this question. What is it that brings a seed to an end? We have planted so many of bad seeds in the past, and most of us still do, even if we don't want to. If every seed has an end, how can we ever be able to plant that vast amount of seeds over and over again to become a really happy and helpful person? Okay. That's a deep one. I don't know why Roger's picture didn't come up so uh, big. Yeah, there. I'm sorry for but, that. Uh, Roger Eisman, we've seen you many times at events in Germany yeah. and Austria. Thanks for sending in that question. Yes. And uh, some lucky person is going to have that to uh, talk about on Monday. Yeah. We won't see you after the weekend, but hope you have a great weekend after Friday the 13th. And stay clean, hygiene. Yeah, Wash Scott, your hands. Scott yeah. and Rita are going on vacation and have a good vacation. Well, we're already in. Uh, Please have a good rest. Yes, it's well, we actually have work to do, and uh, so we're going to be traveling a little try bit. Try to take a little rest. Though. But uh, yeah. anyway, uh, glad that we could spend Friday the 13th with you. Great. And hope you guys have a great yeah. weekend. And a great Friday the 13th. All right, good. Seats. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye for now. Love you guys. Bye.